So Gita Gunher is a character who made his debut in animated form in the third season of a certain scientific railgun. However, something wasn't quite the same. Fans of the source material noted there was something different about the beloved character. His iconic rising sun shirt, which instantly catches the eye, had been converted into just a plain red t-shirt. And in later scenes, a basic white shirt. But why did this happen? What's the story behind this decision? While Sogita is pretty much a side character in Railgun, he is notably universally loved by fans due to his over-the-top personality, his flashy moves that defy logic, and his gimmick, that being Sogita's obsession with guts. Nope. Not him. So Gita believes if a person has guts, they can pretty much accomplish anything. And he will admire the hell out of you for it if he sees that you possess this ultimate power. But if So Gita thinks you're gutless, such as attacking the weak, being a dick, or not being brave enough, he won't treat you too kindly in most situations as long as you deserve what's coming. As you can see, Sogita is a very eccentric character, and due to this, he needs the right style or drip to fit him. That being a white shirt, which hangs off his shoulders like a cape. Possibly a nod to the fact that Sogita thinks of himself as some sort of superhero, therefore giving him the vibe of a vigilante or a makeshift hero. He also wears a long white headband, which can mean a symbol of courage in Japanese culture. And of course, his famous or infamous t-shirt, depicting the flag of Japan, symbolizing the land of the rising sun, with numerous rays projecting from the red circle. This symbol known as Kyoku Jitsuki has been a part of Japanese culture for hundreds of years, holding various meanings, but most commonly known as a symbol of luck, fortune or celebration often used by fishermen when catching a large amount of fish. However, the flag was also adopted by the Imperial Japanese Army and the Navy with the sun slightly off center and this usage continued during the Second Sino-Japanese War when Japan invaded China in 1937 and during World War II. Due to the war crimes committed by the Japanese army in China and Korea during this period, in these countries it is viewed as a hate symbol and often is reputed by Chinese and Koreans as the Japanese equivalent of the Nazi swastika. While the flag remains very controversial in Asia as a whole, the Japanese Marine Self-Defense Force, which acts as the modern navy, still use the flag in the present day, but it is also used by by Japanese far-right groups. A certain scientific railgun is hugely popular in China, with the Chinese equivalent of YouTube, Billy Billy, being named after the nickname of Railgun's main character, Misaka Makoto, who is known as Biri Biri. And the Chinese esports Overwatch League team, Hangzhou Spark, was actually sponsored by the anime, with Misaka Makoto as their official mascot. Due to a significant portion of the anime sales and viewership being based in China, the decision was therefore made to completely remove Sogita's Rising Sun to avoid any backlash and controversy from the Chinese audience audience. Now, what's my opinion on this? Well, from a purely design point of view, Sogita's plain shirts don't quite look as visually engaging as the shirt in the manga, leading to some fans such as myself believing the plain shirts don't suit Sogita's vibrant and explosive personality. Maybe they could have simply chosen a shirt with a different red or white pattern if JC staff wanted to completely avoid the controversial symbol. That probably would have been the best alternate option to the censorship. While this symbol is a very contentious issue that likely won't disappear anytime soon, the rising sun is not quite the same as the swastika in my opinion. This is because the National Socialist or Nazi Party appropriated it as their symbol to represent their party, but it had no prior cultural or historical significance in Germany prior to the Nazis. While I previously mentioned, in Japan, the symbol already had hundreds of years of cultural significance prior to the 20th century. Therefore, I think the two are quite different in this regard. I honestly don't think Kamachi Kazuma, the author of Index and Railgun, is this staunch Japanese imperialist who still believes the emperor is a god and through Sogita, he's projecting these kind of beliefs through him. I don't see Sogita becoming a kamikaze pilot anytime soon. If anything, Sogita is a really wholesome character and doesn't seem like the person 
person who would give a shit about politics. Hell, he probably hates pretty much all politicians for not having guts. Therefore, I think it's pretty apparent that the usage of this symbol on Sogita is meant to represent his positive attitude by invoking the bliss of a fisherman who knows he has struck gold. But let me know what you think. Do you agree that Sogita's shirt should have been censored? Also, check out these videos if you love Railgun or if you're interested in historical anime content.